We're here with Baltimore State Senator Jim Broshin, who is proposing that off-duty Baltimore County police officers who are working in uniform off-duty wear body cameras. And let's talk a little bit about your reasoning behind that. Well, Pat, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, it's like having a, a witness uh, to what's going on. And that's a big deal. And the example that we use is what happened last summer uh, in Catonsville where an officer was moonlighting in a secondary job uh, in security, wearing a Baltimore County police uniform, uh, saw somebody shoplifting, went after them in the parking lot. At the time that they went after them in the parking lot, the law stipulates that now they really become a, a police officer again and they're engaging them as a police officer. Uh, suspect jumped into the car, tried to drive away. Officer had his hands out uh, on, the, on the car and the guy was dragging him. Officer pulled out his weapon uh, and, and shot and, and, ki and killed the suspect. Uh, we don't have great footage of that. The state's attorney uh, at the hearing showed footage of, uh, of the security cameras at the shopping center. But to have a, an actual witness right there seeing what happened, uh, it validates everything. It validates it for the police officer because the police officer can say, look, this is, I told you, this is exactly how it happened. And it just makes things more clear cut. Uh, I think you'd be hard pressed to find anybody these days, even people that were dubious about body cameras, uh, to, seeing that, to saying that at the end of the day that they don't provide equal justice because they do. And the equal justice part really shouldn't just be when you're on duty uh, in, as a Baltimore County police officer, but if you're moonlighting, you've been given permission to moonlight and you're in that uniform, uh, the public and the officer should have the protection of that camera as well. Senator Broshin, thank you. We will have more on this story and others tonight on WJZ.